before I start, if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. This is the way. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. This one's coming thanks to the kind folks at Green Rock Comics over in Footscray, Victoria. Um, just in the suburbs of Melbourne, uh, they sent this one out. Got it to me really quickly, so they've uh, they've been really good. Um, another great. Uh, they've, I don't think they've got a website. If they do, I haven't looked it up. But uh, yeah, they do have an eBay store. So Green Rock Comics, check them out. Um, yeah, good prices, good packaging, yeah, all all the good stuff. So thanks to those folks. Yeah, Omega. We have Omega from. Camino from the Bad Batch, and uh, yeah, this leaves Echo as the last one I need to get. I'm hanging for Echo big time, um, but yeah, nice to have Omega in the wave in the collection with the Bad Batch. Artwork looks pretty good, sort of nice realistic interpretation of Omega or Omega, depending on where you come from and how you pronounce Omega. So you're looking nice in the packaging. She's been an interesting little figure. Cool accessories. Can't remember what that lizard thing is called, but we'll uh, we'll crack it open and have a look anyway. So let's do that. All right, guys. Here we have Omega out of the packaging, and we'll quickly take a look at her accessories. She does come with this little breathing apparatus. We'll focus. And uh, yeah, I imagine that just sort of fits snugly over her face. So let's take a quick look. So yeah, I, I actually don't remember this being used in the show, but um, I really only have watched Bad Batch uh, through once in its entirety. Um, so yeah, the memory's a little bit vague. I watched the first episode and the last couple multiple times, but yeah, I haven't really sat through the entire season um, more than once yet. And, and actually paid attention, you know, there's <laughs> many times where I've put it on, but... Yeah, nice little accessory. It sort of sits on there nice and snug, looks all right. So yeah, we'll pop that one off. Otherwise we get her sort of energy bow. I'm not sure what it's called, but it looks cool. It's a nice accessory. It's got that little bit that will... Don't think it disassembles, but there are a couple of parts there um, that I'll probably end up gluing on. That looks all right, that, 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 that will just fall off in time, I think. So I will super glue that on so we don't have any dramas with that, but that looks cool. Pretty cool weapon, actually. A very big, um, you know, but it works. I like it, I think it's cool. Cool weapon. Sort of energy bow. I like the sort of, the lasers are sort of put in there. Yeah, it doesn't flex or anything, so that's kind of cool. And we have this little anteater looking dude. He has articulation there. <laughs> that's about it. But uh, look at his little face. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah, it's a bit cute. <laughs> I don't know what he's called. I can't remember. Some kind of like armadillo. Anteater. Thing. Oh, yeah, it's cool. I like it. No, nice little accessory. Nice, just a little creature as well. I like the, I like what they've done with the, some of the creatures in the Star Wars Black series. Like, they've had um, the Boggling from Jedi Fallen Order. Some Porgs, you know. I, I like that kind of stuff. So, let's get a look at the young Omega. And hopefully this opens a door for a young Alpha, a young Boba Fett. I think that would be cool. So yeah, she's probably got the standard Camino outfit. I'll be honest and say that I would have preferred that it didn't have the sort of head charm on, on her head, just because she did take that off quite uh, early in the season. Um, and yeah, I think I would have preferred it not to be there, but that's okay. Not a big deal. It still looks good. Nicely sculpted. Yeah, sort of very sort of uh, Camino sort of student outfits, very reminiscent of like what the young clones wear in um, Attack of the Clones. 
sort of standard brown pants and some sort of darker brown, almost black boots. But she's cool. I, I actually really, really like this figure. It's not, not a bad one at all. Yeah, it'll be nice to display her with, with the other guys, with the lads. The boys of the batch. They're the boys from the batch and they're back in town. <laughs> um, so yeah, just hanging out for that Echo, you know, he's looking awesome. I've seen people get him. Um, yeah, really, really excited to get Echo and complete the crew. Um, awesome, awesome stuff. I was, I was actually surprised when they revealed that they were going to be doing Omega. I didn't think that would be one that they'd rush to do, but, uh, you know, especially with a second season coming, I uh, think her importance is going to um, increase, hopefully. So, yeah, nice face sculpt. Looks good. Yeah, I like the blues and the reds. I love, love those colours, the whites. Got all the new fan dangled articulation, which is cool. Lots of movement there. So yeah, a nice looking figure, Omega. I need to find out how she holds this before I uh, make a tool of myself by doing it wrong. Because yeah, I don't remember how she holds it. Imagine something like this. It's just going to fall off. Yeah, I'm just going to wait till after. So, <laughs> thank you very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed this review. I'll be back with some more very soon. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Till next time, may the force be with you. Always.